Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome to another special bonus episode of Let's Play Wing Commander 4. I'm going to show you how to get the uh, other ending, other good ending for the game, as I've already shown you the bad ending. So, uh, and it all starts here. So we're going to talk to Panther and Hawk. They're deciding Scope about the, the Vesuvius. Yeah, Ella system. Its maneuverability and acceleration make us look like we're standing still. All right. Okay, so. Panther's right, we can't kill Can't civilians. kill civilians. But the flash pack is off limits. We'll try and outrun them. I think the idea is to try and show that Blair is not a bloodthirsty um, type of person. Whereas if you pick Hawk's mission, he is kind of bloodthirsty and will do what it takes to get the job done. So I think that's why when he becomes Admiral, he'll uh, send the Black Lions forces in to get the job done. That'd be the only thing I can think of. Okay. Now, we'll do the mission. I think that it's despicable behavior that you would have been talking about. casualties are acceptable. Right, no, they're not. That's enough. Now, this is going to be the hardest mission we've ever undertaken. When you escort the Intrepid to this jump point, that means trying to slip past the Ella Superbase. If they come after us, and I can't think of a reason why they wouldn't, it's going to take everything we've got to defeat them. Our only other chance is to cause civilian casualties, and that's, well, it's unacceptable. And we can do this, people. Maybe we'll just stop a war in the process. All right, let's go. All right. So let's configure our ship loadout here. Bring me back a ship as clean as you did last time, and I'll show you what old players can do. Okay. I uh, gotta get my leech missiles and image rex. There we go. Very good. Wingman. And we're gonna take. Uh, let's take Maniac because we're gonna need his killing skills in this next one. All right. Let's do it. Okay, got to make sure we don't get those civilian casualties. All right, we got a lot of ships we got to deal with. As Blair said, this is going to be difficult. So what we're going to do is, because I just want to go through this real quick and just kind of show you the mission briefly, I'm going to switch it to the easiest setting. Um, this mission is pretty much just a standard Big time enemy presence, destroy everything that gets in your way kind of mission, but I want to make sure that I get this all in in one episode. So just know that I'm going to be going through this pretty quickly. I'll show you just how uh, easy the rookie mode is in this game. How quickly you can just demolish your targets. See, the, the enemy AI is way down. So, they hardly move. You can just line them up in your sights. And their shields are much thinner. So, again, see how quickly I'm taking them out? I mean, it's just not even... This is even, you need to make the game that challenging. So, I always fly on the standard default mode, so... Okay, so that's one wave of fighters. Okay, here's another wave of Hellcat fighters. I'll take these things out real quick and be back. All right, got him. Now we should have to wait for this frigate to go down. The Intrepid will take it out real fast. Target demolished. Boom! Nice job. All right, moving on. Okay, now this is kind of a tricky zone. Break formation and open fire. Gonna give them some maniac magic. And what you want to do is you want to target the longbows right away. Because the longbows have torpedoes normally that could destroy um, the intrepid. So that's gonna be your first goal is take out the longbows. And this one proves what you want to do is whenever you see a longbow, just track it and then shoot it down. Because, yeah, again, if one of them happens to sneak away... Now, normally I would stay and take out the ship that's right next to me, but because I see a longbow, I need to act fast on it. So, yeah. Okay, so I'll finish all of the uh, ships in this zone. It's just a couple more waves of longbows and hellcats. And anytime you see a longbow, you're going to want to take it out, use missiles, whatever you need to do to get the job done. So, All right. Take care of all these fighters in this zone and move on once something exciting happens. 
All right, got him. All right, now it's all I'd love to do is do the cruiser. Let the Intrepid take out the cruiser real quick. Shouldn't take that long. I wouldn't think. I'm gonna watch the firefight here. Yeah, I probably keep moving them because they're not going down. Boom! Alright, nice job. Alright, moving on. Big time enemy presence, eh? And a destroyer. Along with some, ugh, Bearcats. Break formation and open fire. Gonna give some maniac magic. So as you can see, this is just basically a destroy the target as it comes type mission. With a dragon and missile, it's really not that hard. Okay, so we the Bearcats. And then be back. Chalk up another for the maniac. Alright. Looks like a Bearcats and some Longbows. Again, same thing as before. Just take out the Longbows. That is your primary test. Alright, nice job. Got the destroyer and the bear cat. Alright, good job. Again, just make sure to take out those longbows and you're in good shape. Alright, let's keep moving. Mission complete. Woo! Got him. Okay, so I'll land right now, and now pretty much the rest of the game is the same. So the next time I'll meet you is after I've won the assembly with Tolan, and I'll show you the good ending, which will appear right at, right about now. Okay, sorry. There is one more thing I want to show you before um, I show you the good ending here. This is a video you wouldn't get to see um, if you use the flash pack earlier in the game. Vesuvius. Only thing is, what is it? Well, I've been studying the specs that Captain Eisen sent us. Yeah. That alloy they use for the skin of the supercarriers? Well, I don't know if the flash pack will work on it from the outside. Seems like your best bet might be to fly inside the Vesuvius and uh, lay the pack down on its innards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a replacement for it. Yeah, firing on the inside should work. Well, we've got it. We might as well use it. Oh, it's too risky. It's now. Never. Yep. Well, that's what I gotta do. Load her up, pliers. Okay, come on, let's get this out of here. Might as well put this thing to use, right? Okay. Sir, we have an incoming transmission. Well. Okay, I've seen that. Don't need to see Blair. Or Blair getting assaulted by the current. All right. Give him hell, kid. Can't wait to hear about that flash pack. Yeah, me neither. All right. Sounds good. Let's roll. All right. So what we're going to want to do here is head over. Okay, sorry. I had to sneeze there for a second. Okay, I'm good now. All right. Really going to raise my kill score here. Go get him. Break formation and open fire. These guys are history. All right, now we're going to load up the flash pack. Break formation and open Get ready to lock on. And we're just going to fly right inside the hub. Gonna go right at it. Fire right inside there. And fire. Awesome. And after run out of there, and the Intrepid and the Vesuvius is gone. Alright. Okay, now I'll go to the ending cutscene if you've won the game. 